And now I'm moving to our youngest speaker of uh, today, Elena Sakovska from uh, uh, State Institute of, for Art Studies in Moscow. Elena, please share your presentation and start your talk. I would like to sincerely thank uh, the organizers. I'm honored to be a part of this true historical event. <laughs> and despite the fact that we are all far from each other, I feel a great atmosphere uh, that uh, unites us across uh, all borders. And I'm starting. Uh, description of the Ural and Siberian plants, uh, obviously in Russian, is one of the first scientific and technical books in the Russian early modern history culture. Uh, the author of this treatise is Georg Willem de Genin, a Dutch military engineer of German origin. He was an, industri he was an industrial architect, metallurgist, mining expert, and a talented inventor. He was known as William Ivanovich Genin in Russia, where he worked for more than 50 years uh, until the end of these days. Abrasi is a work that sums up uh, many years of William Genin's practical work in the Urals and Siberia, when he was engaged in the organization and modernization of metallurgical industries from 1723 to 1734. The main subject of Abrasi is the facilities uh, and technology of metallurgical production. This handwritten treatise was considered the most authoritative work among metallurgists and technical specialists. Uh, the manuscript was not published during the life of the author, but at the same time, the manuscript was quite well known in the professional environment uh, since it was actively distributed in copies. The manuscript was published for the first time only in 1937, but before in uh, 1828, various fragments were published in several issues of mining journal. The photograph uh, is consid considered to be lost. Only seven copies haven't been preserved. These copies are kept in the following location. Uh, the State Historical Museum, the Russian National Library, the Archive of the St. Petersburg Institute of History, uh, the Mining University, and the New York Library. The manuscript is a dedicated description of the construction processes of factories, uh, of factories and plants, technological units, and the necessary hydraulic structures. This is the main and principal part of the manuscript. The second part Contained, contains information about factories and plants uh, that were built and modernized by Genin. The text is uh, accompanied uh, by unique illustrations uh, that make up almost half the volume of the entire book. Uh, despite the technical content of the treatise, its illustrative material is very diverse. Uh, it is represented by architectural and technical graphics, uh, geographical maps, uh, surveying drawings. Uh, the manuscript also contains panoramic images of the city's factories, uh, as well uh, as the images of the workshop interiors, landscapes, and archaeological and ethnographic sketches. Such a uh, multidimensionality uh, of the graphic part of the manuscript evokes a lively research interest. Uh, the illustration of Abrasi attracted attention of not only researchers of the history of engineering and industry, but also art historians and historians of industrial architecture. The researchers noted their uniqueness and special artistic value because these images are among the first known examples of Russian technical illustrations of early modern history. It is known that a group of performers led by Genin worked on the illustrations. In fact, uh, the technical level uh, of the illustrations differs markedly. Uh, for this reason, uh, the problem of authorship of manuscript illustrations has been raised repeatedly. Uh, that is why the authorship of Abrasi is usually attributed to Genin conditionally. 
Uh, however, the fact of the collective performance of illustrations uh, does not mean that Genin did not have anything to do with them. Um, the fact of the existence of several copies, as well as the lack of the protocol, aggravate the position that uh, this is the uh, attribution of the illustrations of Abrissi. However, by comparing all remaining copies, it become obvious uh, that the illustrations are made from a single source. They are different only in the technique uh, of artistic performance. In this report, uh, we will rely on a copy of the manuscript uh, provided by Russian National Library uh, as the closest one to the protocol. Um, during the study of manuscript illustrations, it was, it was noted that they were created explicitly under the influence of European technical graphics of the 16th, 17th centuries. In some cases, this influence reached iconographic plan. So uh, we could suggest that the author of the artistic idea of the illustration uh, could be an expert uh, who is a European technical research of the time. Uh, most likely, he was a professional professionally trained European engineer. The question arises, what European theoretical base could the manuscripts also be guarded by in the process of creating these illustrations? At the moment, uh, no attempt have been made to put Abris in the context of the history of European technical illustration. Uh, all uh, that the researchers uh, have done in this direction uh, were limited by comparisons with treaties uh, Dura Metallica by Agricola uh, and Our Subterranea by Lazarus Erker. Uh, the analogs, uh, this, these works are clear. They contain illustrations with scene of mining and metal working. Uh, moreover, uh, they were widely known among European engineers, metallurgists, etc., specialists of the 16th, 17th centuries. Uh, the illustrations uh, from Abrissi differ from them in composition, uh, but they are very similar in plot. Uh, the attention of researchers has been attacked, attracted to plans and perspective use of cities factories. It was noted uh, that they were created according to all the rules of European cartography of the time. Uh, nevertheless, the graphic material of the manuscript did not draw enough attention for so of researchers, and now fundamental research of the manuscript illustrations has been uh, conducted. Uh, in this report, uh, in, uh, this report proposes to fill this gap uh, by comparing the obviously of gaining with European technical graphics of 16th, 17th centuries. Uh, this will make to uh, this um, will make it possible to find parallels with a certain set of theoretical works to which he could refer to. Illustrated treatises of 16th, 17th centuries were sel selected as sources for comparison. Uh, these treatises are devoted to the topic of, of hydraulic devices, various um, machines and mechanism, uh, mechanisms, and the theory of architectural perspective drawing. Uh, the result of the study will allow to approach the solution of the illustration, authors, authorship problems of Abrissi, uh, as well as to represent Genin as the author of the visual conception. Uh, such a comprehensive study attempt is being undertaken for the first time. Uh, let us uh, turn to illustrations. Uh, they are interested in images dedicated to industrial subjects. Uh, this graphic uh, series is fundamental in terms of the content of the manuscript. Uh, these are images of workers along the various machines and equipment in the interior. Uh, manufacturing scene, scenes are the most common plot in this series. Uh, they depict workers uh, performing various technological operations in the interiors of factories and plants. As a rule, uh, there are multi-figure composition. Uh, for example, uh, the image of a kitchenware factory. Uh, here we can see the factory interior. Uh, this is a vaulted ceiling. Uh, the paired window uh, are shown on the side uh, exterior walls. 
uh, the interior is divided into three rooms by walls. Each room has uh, a separate manufacturing scene. Uh, the interior space is made with the perspective intersection of all lines at one point. Uh, the method uh, that is used in the composition uh, creates the impression as if there are no walls. Uh, so it allows you to cover the entire interior with your gaze. With this technique, all parts of the composition are combined into one multi-figure scene. Uh, the artistic conception of image of the kitchenware factory resembles the illustration from the title page of the thesis of Hieronymus Rodia, dedicated to the construction of perspective. Both mentioned images have identical perspective construction, both are multi-figured. Uh, there is a furnace on the beginning. Uh, illustrations, uh, illustration on the left side of the composition, in turn on the Rodler's title page. Uh, we also see a furnace on the left and the paired windows on the exterior walls are depicted. Uh, the title page uh, of Rodler has a vertical format. Uh, the illustration of Genion is a horizontal. Uh, there are also differences in the image of the ceiling. In Rodler's illustration, the ceiling is a flat, not vaulted, but despite these differences, it is obvious our uh, interconnection between two describing images. Uh, then let's take the image of various mechanisms and technological units. Here it is the influence of graphic for, graphics from the treatises on mechanics uh, and machinery. Unlike Rodler, the authors of such essays uh, were mostly engineers. In Abrissi, the sawmill uh, image uh, is one such example. Uh, similar images can be found in the treatise of Solomon de Caus. Uh, he is the general intonation of the pictures, uh, namely the extreme conditional space, uh, the lack of staffage, and the black and white scale definitely draws attention. Also, a similar technique is the image of the machines and mechanism in axonometric, axonometric perspective. Uh, in some illustrations for Abrissi, uh, we will not find direct lines, but certain associations can be caught. Uh, for example, in the illustrations of a drilling factory and directly moving machine. Uh, there is a noticeable a graphic effect from Jacob Besson's Teatro Machinario. And um, uh, in the image of a weight lifting machine, we can find the prototype in Buckler Titus. Here you can see uh, interpretations rather than exact repetitions. Uh, in turn, Genin's machine, as well as the Berkler work, are shown uh, in axonometric perspective, uh, but in a more dynamic one. In addition, there are more personages and other compositional elements pre present here uh, than in Berkler's and Besson. Uh, due to this, the, scene, uh, the scenes depicted in Abrissi have a more vivid artistic expression. Um, then a comparison of the pictorial part of the Abrissi with the graphic uh, from European treatises allows us to notice the following. Uh, the most frequent sources of loans, there are three illustrated technical books, namely Bockler, Kaus, and Besson. This analysis did not include other illustrations from the uh, manufacturing, manufacturing scenes of Abrissi, but despite this, it can be seen that most of uh, the Gideon drawings uh, were made under the influence of the technical books mentioned. As a result, uh, the author of the visual idea of illustrations for Abrissi was well acquainted with them. Uh, these works were well known among uh, European military engineers. Uh, William Gaming uh, was such a specialist. Specialist. Uh, and um, another interesting fact confirms this. In the Arbor Sea, there is a rather amusing illustration. This is a fire fighting scene. A similar plot is contained uh, in all three mentioned treatises.
uh, development and creation of fine genes uh, was part of the duties of specialists who were somehow connected to the production sphere. Uh, there was a similar machine by created uh, by Genin. Uh, he also wrote about it in the Abrissi, accompanied by description and graphic drawing. Uh, let's pay attention to the main character of the scene of extinguishing the fire. The man uh, in a white shirt is a fire horse in his hand. Uh, has. Uh, if you look closely at him, you may notice some portrait resemblance to Genin himself. Uh, it seems um, uh, that it, in this way, Genin fixed it himself in his work. Uh, this is a kind of hint at who, he, who is he, the real creator of the entire content of the manuscript. Uh, and to conclude, uh, being in the Russian service, uh, Ginyan uh, fulfilled himself as a talented mythologist and inventor. His practical activity uh, indicates this. All his mythological projects had no analogs in Russia. Uh, the same can be said about the manuscript of Abrissi. It is unique for the time of its creation. Uh, at least the existence of a similar Russian language scientific and technical writing of the 18th century is currently unknown to researchers. Uh, creating Albers again relied not only on his own practical experience uh, in the organization of industrial complexes in Russia, but also on the theoretical knowledge acquired by him in Europe during the years of his development as an engineer. Uh, therefore, he was familiar with the most advanced architectural and scientific technical thought of his time. So he could have access to literature on the topic. Most likely, he simply showed uh, these works as a model for performers of Abrissi illustrations. Uh, being on the first foreign specialist invited by Peter the Great to Russia, Ginyan became a real guide of progressive European knowledge and he fully demonstrated his knowledge of European theory, which was fully reflected in his handwritten work. And even if we assume that Gillian was not a direct performer of illustrations of the manuscript, then he definitely was the author of the illustration artistic concept. Uh, thank you very much.